Yo, what's going on, y'all? Stone Mando here. Thanks for checking out the review today. As you can see, we're taking a look at the Ghost and the Phantom. And my wife actually got me the Ghost about a month ago, and I've had it in box. I've been really anticipating getting a review done on it. And then just a couple of days ago, the Star Wars Toy Collector posted that the Phantom was in stock at Walmart. So I snagged it for uh, 10 bucks. I had like $5 in Walmart cash. Me and my wife had saved up, so I got it for 10 bucks. So I just figured I'd do like a two-in-one uh, ship review and uh, I, I've been covering a little bit of Michael Galaxy on my page. I have a couple reviews up. Uh, my last one was just a TIE fighter. I've had a lot of these for a while now, but just kind of going through and uh, I've opened up a lot of them. I'm getting them reviewed and stuff like that. But really, really, uh, I really love this line, man. It's it's so such one of the most underrated Star Wars lines out there and it's just continuing to get better and better. And these releases are proof of that. Uh, this, the ghost is. It, so much paint on it. There's so many features, as you can see over here at the right. It says 18 plus features. So it's it's cool that these little ships have little little gimmicks and even the little figures like Zeb, Kanan, uh, Sabine, and Hera, and Chopper and Ezra. Like there's a lot of paint on these little one inch figures. So very very cool to see that. And then just going back to the ship, when my wife found it, she was telling me she wasn't exactly. She's not like a super hardcore Star Wars fan, but she knows the movies. Um, but she you know. Very supportive of my passion of it, obviously. But uh, she told me, like, there was this really big, pretty ship that I, I needed to see. And she sent it to me. Like, even she, you know, she doesn't really even watch Rebels or anything like that. And she said that she thought it was a pretty ship. But there's just so much paint on it. There's even a dark wash. You can see all this paneling. And we'll get a closer look at all that, too. Because I've, I've been really anticipating this. I don't know if I want to hang it up from the ceiling or put it on the shelf. I really don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. But I just know I'm really really anxious to get it out of the box it's been way too long and uh really stoked to have the phantom as well and i'll get both of these on the turntable so we can get a look of them in the box too and give you all a closer look of that and just to give you a real quick quick look at the ghost and its packaging and you can just see that dark wash showing all this panel and it's so beautiful I'll try to give you all a decent look at the box here it's this thing is huge man this thing is massive such a beautiful piece and i'm so excited to get it out dude there's some beautiful art on the sides here too. And like I said, 18 plus features. I'll give you a quick look at the back of the box. It makes lights and sound when you turn it. All the stuff the Phantom goes on. There's lights. There's different compartments and stuff. There's there's really a lot of uh, a lot of sculpting and uh, detail put into this ship. There's no doubt about that. So uh, there's that, and I'll show you the Phantom as well, real quick. And here's the Phantom, looking pretty badass, dude. Really, really cool looking ship. Also, some nice paint and sculpting on here as well. Especially Chopper and Ezra, man. There's so much paint on these little one-inch figures. And I'll give this a quick spin so y'all can check this out. And compared to when this line started, obviously coming from the Tide, like the Darth Vader's Tide Advance and the X-Wing, it's just come such a long way. I didn't really know if we would ever see these kind of vehicles when this line started. But it's definitely cool to see. And I believe they actually, Jazzwood started this lineup, uh, I forget what year it was. I think it was for the 40th year of, uh, or no, the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm or 40th anniversary. I, f I forget. I have to do a little bit of research. I I've read that somewhere. I might put a little thing right here saying, uh, kind of fact checking myself. But I feel like I did read that somewhere. They started this lineup for either the 40th or 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm. I can't, I can't remember. But uh, either way, it's just cool to see like something like Rebels uh get get these kind of releases and this looks just so so freaking fantastic and i can't wait to get it fitted onto the ghost and a little cool detail right here you on the back of the box you can actually kind of see the ghost shooting down a tie back behind them it's kind of hard to see in the package you might be able to you see that's just cool cool packaging man well before it was torn up there's a better look at the packaging that's pretty cool just a quick look at the Phantom before I get the wings out and open. This is what it looks like getting it out of the box in its compact form. It actually does come with a rubber band. I don't have to keep the wings together, but I will show you in just a second how to uh, spread those wings out. But once again, just some really cool paint. There's even a little bit of weather in here on the side, and I'll give you a closer look at that. Real nice yellow paint inside there. Some silver paint on there. The turret looks good. Uh, clean, clean red right here. Just very, very cool looking paint. Nice. I like I like the crummy effect that silver has. Very nice. And real quick, here is Chopper. As you can see, there's a lot of paint on him. Pretty clean for the most part. There's a little bit of orange that bled over here, but not bad, man. 
some very clean paint for it to be on such a small figure. Yeah, very, very clean paint. That looks good. Clean orange, clean yellows, that clean blue going down right there. Very nice. And then here's a look at Ezra. I'm actually really impressed with the amount of paint that's on these little figures. A lot of, a lot of super, super delicate paint, man. Very intricate. Look at that. Even the, even the blaster on his side is painted. Oh yeah, that's his like lightsaber blaster. I just noticed that. Yeah, very, very clean paint. This is so cool. Man, that's actually really nice. That's crazy. The amount of paint that they can put on a one-inch figure. That's that is wild. I mean, you see my thumbnail. Like, that's crazy. That's insane, man. And I want to say, from looking at the back of the box, you can see this is where Chopper goes in right here. Let me raise this up just a, just a hair or so. But you can see this is where Chopper goes in, his little port right here. Cockpit opens up. You can pop it up this way. And pop Ezra down in there. Close that back up. I believe the wings open up from the sides here. There we go. So you pull those out just like so. Try to get this side too. There we go. A little tricky. Then you spread that out just like that. Oh no, I'm sorry. How's it go? Yeah, there we go. Does this side come down? trying to live it how's it go it doesn't yeah no no it doesn't go that far it's just like i was i didn't think it was supposed to go that far something like this effect here so that looks that looks pretty freaking sick dude look at that super nice sculpting in here let me get this focus for y'all very clean paint some nice sculpting down in here underneath the wings also a lot of sculpting on the bottom of it. Very clean yellow on here. A little bit of a wash on here. Make it look dirty. I love that. Super clean yellow paint there. And just I like I like this like silvery chrome paint they have going on here. Nice sculpting down here. Little pipes and exhaust vents and whatnot, I reckon. Very very I like this color yellow. It's very striking. Clean red up here. Turrets are nice. Very, very cool ship, man. This is awesome. Yep, that's badass. I'll go ahead and fold it, fold this back up though, because I, I do plan on uh putting this on the ghost, but you can see there just the single single pin. That's very nice, man. How that folds up. Folds up real nice. You can see these little notches right here that plug in right here. Yeah, that is that is nice, man. Very compact ship. The the Phantom is called the Phantom for a reason. Gets in and out real quick and unnoticed. That's some nice silver paint on the bottom of here too. Very nice sculpting too. That's really beautiful. That is super that is just I'm just so impressed with how I mean like just let's just admire this for a minute. Look how clean that is. Man, that is some clean paint. That is so cool, man. Honestly, I could this would look even better with a there is still it's kinda of hard to see on camera, but in person there is way more of a wash on it than showing I kinda of looking on my phone now. It there is way more of a wash like to the to the human eye than what's showing up on camera. So yeah, this is pretty freaking sweet, dude. I love this. So uh, let's take a look at the ghost now. And just real quick, I wanted to admire the. This is what's inside of the in the background of the packaging, and that is just a, a very beautiful image. And I feel like I'm gonna try to do something and fit this in, try to cut it up and make it a little bit cleaner, and try to do something with this in my display because this is just uh, this is beautiful, man. And once again, man, just like so, there's a, there's a lot of paint on these little one inch figures, man. They're just super super clean, like. I am extremely impressed. These are not just some like all white phase one clones. These are 
named characters that that have a lot of like d- different color schemed costumes and like their own like fleshy tones and skin colors and stuff like that armor like very very cool man i'm just gonna give you a quick run through of the ghost crew i forget their specter names now i'm kind of blanking pretty sure kane inspector one Hera's two uh choppers three then zeb is four i think sabine specter five and i think uh zeb or no i'm sorry not zeb, i think ezra is specter six i think that's the right order once again, some very clean paint. The purples and oranges very much pop. There's, there's Sabine. Getting a look at probably my favorite member of the crew, Zeb here. Here is Zeb Aurelios. Super clean paint. Got his chops, of course, there on the side with his beard. Super sick. I am like truly impressed with just the amount of paint that's on these figures and how clean it is. There, here's Kanan. I do. Kanan is actually a really cool character as well, and I, I like him as a as a. I know technically he's well. No, technically he was he was knighted in the temple by the temple guard, so I guess he is technically a Jedi. Very clean paint. His emblem looks nice there. I also just like the color scheme of his costume. I'm all about like earthy colors, earthy tones. So there's Kanan, and then the queen herself, the queen of the ghost. Here is Hera, the Twi'lek we all know and love. This, this, the orange on her jumpsuit looks a little dull, to be honest. I feel like I would have liked to have seen it a little more vibrant orange, but that's just me nitpicking. This still looks awesome. And of course, they're just typical of these. There's just a single little pin on the legs and arms so they move together of course you can move them individually of course as well but they are they do move together as well dude this thing is so huge it's hard to like get myself in in frame of it i might have to like change up how i do my review and do it like front facing because there's just this is my, my arms are like fully extended out in front of the camera right now uh just to get this thing in in frame but Man, is it is it beautiful? It, it is it is so gorgeous. There is so much sculpting, and this wash, just to show off all this paneling and all this hard work that somebody sculpted in. I can see why this is sixty bucks, man. You know, some people may disagree, but the landing gear right here, and I'll go through all those, just giving you a quick look of it all. It's yeah, I might have to kind of change up my review style here. <laughs> this thing's huge. Man, what a beautiful looking ship. To now I feel like I can like actually properly show this thing off, dude. It's this thing is huge. I'm a pretty decent sized guy, but like and it takes up I'm a pretty wide dude. This takes up this is like from almost shoulder to shoulder, dude. I'm like I'm sure I'm five eight, but I'm like two sixty. I'm a pretty pretty built dude. Um but dude, this thing is is massive. Like I also have a big ass head, and this <laughs> this thing's bigger than my head, dude. But just to give you a, a full look at it, man. Look at all the wash on the sides. Show off all that piping. And the engines, the turbines there. Such a beautiful, beautiful sculpt, dude. Just to give you a look at the inside. Like a beautiful, like goldish yellow color. There is so much sculpting on this thing, dude. I can see why this thing's 60 bucks. Just look at all that, dude. And there's a wash over the entire thing. There's the top of it. You can see the turret here. Here's a look at the bottom. So, now I just wanted to show y'all the entire thing. Now I'm a turn the camera back around we'll go over the features like more closely but i just wanted to it's hard to get this thing is huge dude it's hard to get it in frame of the camera like i had my camera off my phone off my desk and I, my arms were like fully extended past my camera just to get it in frame but uh, i just wanted to give it a more full look and just show off this 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 sculpting and paint is something to be admired man the cockpit i love the green tint 
on the cockpit area there on the windshield, if you will. Just so cool, man. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous ship. So wicked looking, man. And I try to get the specters in their respective positions as best as I could, but uh, definitely might would help to have some blue tech or something just to help keep everyone in place. But I think uh, Kanan and Hera are probably going to stay put, but uh, Ezra Z and Chopper as well. Hey, he's got, there's a little peg under there, as you can see, for Chopper. But uh, Ez uh, Ezra, Sabine, and Zeb may jiggle around a little bit. And something else that this comes with, luckily, is an instruction manual. There are 18 different little little functions and gimmicks on this freaking ship, man. So many hidden compartments and little features that this ship does. And just look at that, dude. So it's kind of cool that they, they didn't just, like, throw it in the box and let you find it out for yourself. But uh, this is pretty cool, man. This ship has a, a lot of thought and engineering put into it. There's no doubt about that. I mean, just looking at this side, you can see... Uh, you turn it kind of like the Mummy of Falcon. You turn it's got the buttons that activate the ship and do the different hyperdrive sounds and engine lights and stuff like that. All that lights up. You turn it and swoop it different ways. Turn it up and down diagonally, side to side. It makes noises. Different compartments come off. The turrets are all movable and functional. Uh, you pull off the top. You have all the Spectre's quarters, the lounge area, which is a very common. Uh, image like scene because they spend a lot of time in the lounge and rebels and stuff like that the whole top comes off so you can get to everything uh very very cool man there's a this ship has uh so many so many features and then also something i meant to mention earlier but it shows that you can see the little ports where it plugs in two y wings on the side that's pretty cool it shows you that that's that's pretty neat and then what i'm excited for is shows you how to put the phantom onto the ghost so Pretty cool that it came with this, so <laughs> that's a lot, man. And here she is, and just real quick, show you all the bottom. Here's the landing gear you pull out to the side, or I'm trying to. There we go. Pull this out like like so. That stays like it is. Then this piece right here pulls out like that, like so. And then I'm trying to get this in frame so y'all can see it. It's kind of kind of hard, dude. It's so big, but. There's all the landing gear out, and here is the ghost laying flat, and there she is. You know what? Let's make this right. And now we got it on the turntable, so I don't have to fiddle with it so much. And just look at all this sculpting, dude. There is so much to take in with this ship. I want to give you a nice little 360 degree view of it real quick before we start looking at the features and stuff like that, because there is a lot to go over. Just beautiful, beautiful sculpted, man. So much paint. This is this is worth $60 in my opinion, man. No doubt. I know people will probably see this on the shelf at Target and thinking no way, but this 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 vehicle has a lot going for it, man. I love this green tint and, and the cockpit and the uh arms in the uh turret box and the and the visor and the windshield, man. It's, I love that green tint so much. And this yellow and these greens is just and the orange just pop, man trying to go over everything man there is this ship does so much as you can see the turret actually turns around this pops open you can drop somebody zeb or whoever you want down in the turret there close that up this turns as you can see up and down i thought it twisted side to side i don't think it does yeah let me not do that i don't think it is does do that. it just goes up and down so, or does it? Okay, yeah, you just got to be real careful with it. So, I wouldn't turn it. Don't turn it by this. I'm kind of noticing, just learning that now. You want to grab it by the actual turret when you're turning it, and then that's how you can get it. Don't So, don't grab this. I was just noticing that. So, but that does pop open. I just love that green tint on here so much, dude. Back around. I just said don't turn it by this and then look what I'm doing. Turn it by that. There we go. That's better. Don't want to mess with it too much. Man, there's so much. Look at all this. This wash is just beautiful, dude. This brings out all that detail so much. Um, I'm actually getting a little lost here, dude. It's kind of... I want to say this pops up somehow. Well, I'll show you the buttons real quick. The Here's the buttons on the back of the ship. 
button one and button two right here. This is where the phantom will plug in here. And I'm trying to find the panel to pop this thing off here. Man, this is a lot. <laughs> this thing is freaking huge. So, oh, here we go. Here's the pop this front piece up. And you can see the whole cockpit here and the turret. That's, oh, there we go. That's pretty cool. You see the turret turning. I just go side to side like that. And you can see the cockpit here. Pretty cool. Close that back up. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be gentle with this thing. It's making me nervous. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah, just be careful with that. But shut back up just fine. Now I'm trying to figure out. This is where the batteries go, down here on the bottom, pretty much up underneath the front of the cockpit here. Turn this back over, and I want to say, supposedly this whole piece is supposed to come up some way. You know, like right here? It's, it's hard, man. And I don't want to pry too much, because I'm... I've been told I don't know my own strength, so I've broken a lot of stuff. So I would really be devastated if I broke this. I have a habit of being a little bit too rough with things. I can see where, like, I can almost get my nail under here and you can see it's moving. I'm just scared to mess with it too much, man. There we go. So I, the way I had to do it just now, I had to pull it from the back here. And there's the inside of this. I'm going to push this out of the way. Dude, holy shit. Wow. Even a wash on the in, underside of this. That's crazy. And look at, dude, look at all this. This is incredible, man. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. So here's the lounge area where we see in Rebels a whole lot. Little smuggling pit right here. Wow, dude. This is insane. Here's the launch tubes going from the Y-Wings. Here you got the quarters. You can see all the stuff. Oh, my goodness, dude. That is so cool. Look inside here, man. Look at that. That is cool as shit. So this is definitely Sabine's room. She had her room all decorated. So that means across the hall, this must be Zeb and Ezra. Then you got this. This is this, I think this is Kanan and this is Hera. I, I believe. I forget which way it goes. Or maybe maybe this is Kanan's. But this is this is insane, man. This is wicked. Just look at the lounge area real quick, dude. That's the shot we see in Rebels. Is looking at it from this way. And this little couch right here in the chair. This is Zeb's chair that he always sits in. That is so freaking badass. And I love Rebels so much. So this is just like, oh, this is just incredible, man. All this nice wash in here just brings out all that sculpting and detail. They, they really outdid this, man. This is incredible. This is so freaking cool, man. Very clean paint, man. Vibrant colors. Incredible wash. There, there's a lot of paint on this freaking thing, man. It's in, it's incredible what a black wash can do, man. It really can change everything. Get you oh, kind of. There's a little. You can kind of see in there. I was trying to get it to zoom in. You can see right in there is a little mural of the specters. So that's pretty cool, man. This is what what a what a beautiful beautiful looking ship, man. So let's get the top pop back on here. I believe it goes yep goes this way like like so. You can see these little notches right here. They just plug in. You see these little slot, little slots right here. Kind of. I'm trying to see if I can get them on camera, and they just line line up right in there, just like so. And then, or I, I say that might want to make sure it goes in the middle. Then maybe go down. There we go. Another one. You just want to make sure you get all these little 
little things pop down like this one here. You can see it kind of sticking out. This one will pop that in. She is back put together. All right. And I think we're good to go. So I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else I went over. Like I said, there is 18 freaking functions on this ship, dude. And I, I just, I can't stop geeking over this wash and just how much sculpting and paint is on this freaking thing. Even the bottom, man. Yeah, this ship does a lot, man. If, if, if anything that I didn't get over, it's it's in here, man. They, this ship is, the amount of engineering and thought that went into this is insane. So freaking cool. I am like truly, truly impressed with this thing, man. Well, you know what? I forgot to do something. I just so happened to have the Phantom here. So let's uh, see how it plugs in. I didn't even think about that. So you can see these holes here. And they just so happen to line up with these. Also has these clips in the side right here. You can see that'll go right against here. I feel like these, do these open up at all? Yeah, they do open up. So these have a little bit of give to them. You can see how it is right there. I'm pretty sure the Phantom goes backwards on here. Let me see. Let me look at the directions. Any Danny directions. So I believe it does park back. Yep, it does. So you can see right here, it does park backwards on the ghost. I'm sure I was trying. It's been a while since I've watched through Rebels, and I'm trying to think. I always remember them when they take off. They come from the back of the ship. So try to fit this in here. Just line those up, and I think it. All right, and there it is. It's on there. So look how look how complete this looks, man. I have been wanting this so bad and look at that the complete ghost get this out of the way look at that dude that is so badass how freaking cool is that like i said i really love rebels a lot it's one of my favorite star wars shows especially coming from the disney era so it's just really cool to See Micro Galaxy doing a, a, a newer Disney. Obviously, new media. They're going to focus on new media, of course. We know that. But it's just cool to, to see Rebels getting some love and attention, man. This is so cool. So, y'all, I want to wrap it up here because I will start to ramble for another 15 minutes on this freaking ship easily. I am just so enamored with the amount of sculpting and paint that's on this freaking thing. And just the amount of thought and engineering that's also put into, in, into it as well. 18 features on this thing. And just the size and the scale of it, it's just so cool, man. And as I've said already, I know I sound like a little bit of a broken record, but I just really, really love Rebels. It's one of my favorite pieces of Disney Star Wars as well. And uh, not to be a Dave Filoni ass kick, ass, uh, not kicker, ass kisser, but I really do think that Dave Filoni is doing a great job uh, and has done a great job with Star Wars in the past. Him just, you know, working so close with Lucas during the time of the Clone Wars when it started in 2008 and obviously on until 2017 when they finished up the last season, season seven or whatever. But uh, I just feel like he's doing a good job carrying the torch. I, mean, I feel like he's the right guy to do it. And uh, like I said, really loved Rebels. It's so cool to have this ship in the line. And Micro Galaxy Squadron is just killing it, man. They're they're just doing a hell of a job. And they've just been, they've just been throwing out banger after banger, dude, especially this year, man. There's been so much fire coming from the Micro Galaxy Squadron. Uh, I still have so many other ones that I need to – do reviews on man like I, I i've had so many for quite a while now and like i said i've been going up and opening stuff up i still have to do the review on the uh the gungan bongo right here got that for six bucks at target and i've had this for a while too dude the freaking sith infiltrator and i still haven't even fucking mall ship i need to review this it's such a cool ship and uh if you're a fan of my channel if you've been here before you know i'm a huge mall fan but uh yeah, beautiful, beautiful ship, man. I totally recommend picking this up if you happen to see it. I know sixty dollars is a lot, but the, the amount of sculpting and paint is well earned. It has well earned its price mark. But I hope you all enjoyed the review. Definitely pick this ship up if, you, if you've been wanting it. Totally worth it. Uh, leave me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. May the force be with you.